Guys, breaking news is coming from Tesla Giga Berlin as Tesla Giga Berlin begins testing production line equipment on Model Y frames and castings. Uh, action is spotted at Giga Berlin as Tesla begins the test production lines. Tesla is testing its production lines and are preparing for the Model Y production. Things are moving slowly but surely as Tesla just obtained the approval to test their systems from the state environmental agency. Stay with me. I'm going to show you some very rare unique pictures shared by us but uh, for um, shared with us by drive tesla canada welcome back dear friends this is armin harian from torquenews.com if you are here first time please take a moment subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up share this in social media as we're going to report a very interesting unique story about tesla's giga berlin tesla drive canada reports that tesla last month received approval from german officials to install machinery that will form part of the final assembly line at Giga Berlin. Crews have wasted no time in setting up this equipment at Giga Berlin. Yesterday, uh, Tesla Drive Canada Tesla shared images of the first manufacturing robots being installed in the factory. There were no specific dates on the photos, but data associated with them said they were taken in June just within days of this reporting. It looks like Tesla has actually done more than just install the robots. Following uh, Tesla Drive Canada's story yesterday, Tesla Drive Canada received other images from an anonymous source showing that Tesla has already began testing the production line, production line process of Giga Berlin on Model Y frames. Again, Drive Canada, Drive Tesla Canada reports that they have received anonymous sources, images from anonymous sources showing that Tesla has already begun testing the production line process on Model Y frames at Giga Berlin. In one image, you can see an up close view of the Model Y frame, with another in the background passing through the machines. Tesla has said the Model Y will be the first car to roll off Giga Berlin's production lines and according to Elon Musk will be a revolutionary in revolution in automotive body engineering. A second image gives us a wider view of a different section of the production line showing several robots handling what appears to be at least three Model Y castings at Giga Berlin. Friends, in March, a drone flyover of the factory Giga Berlin revealed the first Giga Press being installed at the factory and with a Torque News reported that, that since then there have been no reports that it has been turned on, meaning these castings may have been come from Fremont or maybe just testing for a short time. That is also likely that the case for the Model Y frames we see in the first images. The latest information indicates the stamping area of the factory is not yet complete. Regardless, the fact that Tesla already testing its production line process at Giga Berlin is a good sign. We may see the first model, the first made in Germany Model Y this year. Based on the build out at Giga Shanghai, it only took a few months from when the manufacturing equipment was installed until production actually began. Hopefully Tesla will make a nice event and in invite media. We would be happy to be there and report the live news from their friends. Giga Berlin isn't the only factory testing out right now new equipment. Earlier this week, Drive Tesla reported on the first manufacturing robots also being tested at Giga Factory, Texas. So there is a lot of exciting news, friends, and uh, we're also learning that Tesla Giga Berlin neared last milestone as battery plant and final permit got scheduled for public review. This is very important because once you make any changes, you need to have it for public review. And once it's scheduled, that means you have a date and things already are moving forward. So Tesla's application to add a battery plant to Giga Berlin got scheduled for a final public review. The plans will be available for the public to comment on from June 13 up to July 14, one month. After weeks of speculation, on June 4, Tesla officially submitted 
an amended application to include a battery factory in the company's Berlin Gigafactory application, reports Tesla, uh, Tinsai Aregai from Tesla, uh, Talk News Tesla reporting team. In its initial phase, the battery factory at Giga Berlin is expected to have a 100 gigawatt uh, giga, 100 gigawatt hour annual production capacity. This will make Giga Berlin's battery plant by far the biggest cell factory in the world once it reaches its full capacity. The 100 gigawatt hour cell production also hints at Giga Berlin being Tesla's largest factory as the cell production is enough to produce a million vehicles a year. That tells me that Tesla can also sell batteries to uh, either other companies if they want to buy and Tesla agrees or uh, supply batteries for its other plants, maybe in Fremont, maybe Gigafactory, Austin or elsewhere. However, in the long run, according to Tesla CEO Elon Musk, this number could rise to 250 to 300 gigawatt hour, suggesting long term production of 2.5 to 3 million Tesla vehicles per year just from Giga Berlin. Kathy Wood and her firm ARK Invest, which are long-term bullish investors in Tesla, believe, according to Tesla's growth trajectory, that the EV maker can produce 5 to 10 million vehicles a year by 2025. I don't mean all 5 to 10 vehicles a year only in Giga Berlin, but overall from all Tesla's gigafactories together. Friends, Tesla has already started work on the Giga Berlin battery plant. I've reported on that. You have seen my previous reporting how many ray bar steel ray bars they have brought to a plant it's like looks like they're building a huge heavy bunkers um, uh, thing there however the ev maker started building the shed with a permit for a warehouse and later amended the plans to include a battery cell factory and now that Tesla has officially filed the paperwork to add a battery plant to Giga Berlin, the new plants have to undergo a second public uh, review process. According to the Brandenburg State Environmental Agency, the public preview will be held from June 14 up to July 13, giving the people enough time to comment. This review, however, will not only include the battery plant, but some changes Tesla made to the Giga Berlin car assembly section. And unless the Brandenburg Environmental Agency uh, made an egregious mistake in permitting Tesla, in uh, this is expected to be the last hurdle before the EV maker is granted the final permit for Gigafactory Berlin. However, there is stuff, stiff resistance toward Tesla's Giga Berlin, and I've reported on that. Tesla's Giga Berlin plans among German environmental groups, which criticize the plant on the basis of its water use, but I've also reported that it has been solved. Tesla will use far less water than it initially thought because of its new ways of building battery technologies. There are also some in the financial media with a short position on Tesla who object to the Grünheide plant. One uh, such egregious example is German newspaper FAZ's call to bring Elon Musk to his knees by joining forces to short Tesla. Still, the overall sentiment toward Tesla in Germany is overwhelmingly positive. A recent survey by uh, Trendens, a German market analysis firm, has found that Tesla to be the number one sought after employer in Germany. Well, overall good news coming from Giga Berlin friends as Tesla Giga Berlin began testing production line equipment on Model Y frames and castings. I would like to hear what you know about these things in the comments and your thoughts about these developments. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Have a great day everyone and please uh, join our community, subscribe to our channel and share in public news, in public, uh, I'm sorry, in social media this report and also give us thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate that. Have a great day bless you and see you soon and see you